here in the rainforest, although actually I'm not actually in the rainforest, I'm in a massive greenhouse in the middle of Newbury, which is uh, recreating the uh, feeling of the rainforest. And I'm just um, stood next to a Swiss cheese plant and we've been learning about these in class. And Swiss cheese plant has got some great adaptations, which is really useful um, to help you to remember for, to write about. So remember the Swiss cheese plant has got massive holes in it and the massive holes are in it because there's huge amounts of rainfall that fall in the rainforest and if it didn't have these holes then number one the water would sit on the top and over time it would grow fungus and it would cause the plant to die and also the rain being really really heavy would cause the plant to break so it needs to have these holes in it to be able to cope with the daily convectional rainfall um, that falls all the time in the rainforest. Also, this Swiss cheese plant is a liana, which means it's climbing through the canopy. So if you look up, you can see how it's wound its way this, through this tree and it's got some roots that are hanging down to the ground here. And these roots are there to get some nutrients. Okay, on to the next bit. So this is the pitcher plant that we've learned about in class and the pitcher plant has adapted to be carnivorous and it's carnivorous because the soils in the rainforest are so poor. Remember the soils are really poor because the rain washes them all away really quickly, the nutrients away really quickly and the plants take up loads of the nutrients. So this plant is carnivorous and it's carnivorous because it can eat insects. And the insects slip into the edge of the plant and then they get dissolved by the digestive juices, which is pretty cool. Remember that also lots of the plants in the rainforest have adapted to the huge amounts of convectional rainfall by having drip tip leaves. And drip tip leaves mean that the water can be can run off the leaf as quickly as possible and it can shed that water so it doesn't sit on the top and cause the plant to collapse or for fungus to grow. These leaves are also angled as well. So they angle themselves towards the sunlight because remember on the forest floor, it only gets about 5% of the sunlight that actually falls. So the leaves have to angle themselves to be able to get as much sunlight as possible to be able to photosynthesize, which is really important if the plants want to survive and to make energy. The nutrient cycle in the rainforest is really important to understand. All the nutrients come from the falling leaves and the plants themselves. So the leaves fall, they decay and decompose really quickly, and then the plants take up the nutrients really fast. So the nutrients get used up very, very quickly. That's why deforestation in the rainforest is a really big problem. Because if you cut down the trees, then there will be no leaves to fall and the falling leaves is what creates the nutrients in the soil. Remember, rainforests are interdependent and biodiverse, and there's loads more animals to learn about. So I'll leave you with this. Are these chocolate croissants or are they sloths? You decide. <laughs>